Yeah, passion for and this brings us to the end of this year's passion for knowledge we hope that you have enjoyed the whole week as much as we have with all the quotes facts figures and explanations offered uh, to us by our guest speakers the only thing uh, left to do is of course uh, thank you our audience for coming for coming to this year's uh, event the auditorium of the Victoria Eugenia Theatre has been filled to capacity every day. We're very happy about that. If it's been filled with those who come, uh, who've come to hear people talk about science, and we will now give the floor to the president of Passion for Knowledge, Pedro Miguel Echenique, uh, together with the regional minister for uh, education, Garbil um, de And uh, well. Um, this is all from us. We encourage you to continue feeding your passion for knowledge, and we hope to see you at the next festival. Thank you all very much. Good evening. To you all. Let me first of all thank the president of uh, DIBC, Pedro Miguel Echenique, and its director uh, for having me here. I would like to congratulate all speakers and uh, I would like to thank everyone that is here today in this Victoria Eugenia Theatre. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I will just um, say um, how important it is, and it, Adela Cortina has already mentioned that in her presentation, so how important it is to go deep into research and knowledge. We need to in invest time and effort in both fields uh, to come up with a better society in the future. I'm a regional bus mini minister for education, university, and uh, research. And I feel honored to be here with you together with uh, Pedro Miguel Echenique. I'm really glad to be here. He also had a position in the Basque government a few years ago, the, my position, by the way, and Adela as well. She is my predecessor in this position. So um, he was 28 when he became a regional minister for education in the Basque country. And um, he was really committed to uh, education and research and science. We now know that uh, this is key, but at that time he was uh, really passionate for everything he did and he um, led the way so that uh, we could come to this point right now, today. Um, so thanks to him, of course, and uh, I would like to mention Professor Adela, Adela Cortina's words. I don't know if I will remember the exact quote, but she said, let's work at the service of people, at the service of nature, and let's try and get an emancipated society. I think that is key, and that will uh, lead to a fairer future. Thank you very much. Well, um, I would like to uh, mention uh, and make some acknowledgement. Uh, I, would, I would like to thank you, uh, the Basque government, of course, and your support. And I would like to thank uh, many, many people. Um, today's session was very interesting. I really liked it because it reflects very well what passion for knowledge is all about. We're pushing the frontiers and boundaries of knowledge. We're passionate for making headway. And the, we've acquired the existing knowledge thanks to great efforts by many people, both uh, in, the, in the field of theory and practice. And as I was listening to Adela, I thought about COVID-19 pandemic. And it just taught us so many things, you know. Uh, it made us realize how important science is in our lives and for the future of mankind. And it also 
taught us that um, um, we need all branches of humanities. Um, if the uh, Greeks saw what we know now, and if uh, they could be able to see uh, Professor Smoot's uh, observations, they would be surprised. Uh, it's been nice to see Jose Luis Crespo showing us how atoms move or can be moved by a tip because, you know, an atom is to an apple what an apple is to the earth. And we've seen how IBM can be written using atoms. And I, I, I talked to Ricardo when I saw that. And do we have DIPC written with atoms? Let's do it. Let's find it. And he found it very quickly, but uh, we're not going to show it because the computers don't seem to be working very well. But we have uh, the logo of DIPC written with atoms of copper and gold on a surface of, uh, so, sorry, silver and gold on a surface of copper. So, those of you who've uh, participated here, if you're interested, of course, you can uh, email us and we will send you the video. We've also seen this wonderful technology of LIGO that can detect distortion in space-time and uh, gravitational waves that were created in explosions of black holes uh, two billion years ago. That's something that can be observed, and there's a wonderful noise to be gathered. The, the, the noise that uh, Jocelyn Bell uh, whistled for us a few days ago. A good friend told me today, uh, people say, how am I going to attend these lectures? I'm not going to understand anyone. But yes, you will. I encourage you all to come. We need to understand the scores. Uh, do we need to understand the scores about music to enjoy a symphony? No, you can enjoy the music, even if you don't know anything about music. Do you need to understand the process of digestion in your bodies to enjoy a good meal? No, of course not. Um, our uh, lectures have been very diverse, very different. We've been uh, meeting students. Um, we've made very interesting reflections that make us all think. Um, over dinner, we'll be talking about all of this. We'll be talking about Adela Cortina's presentation. I'm sure about that. Well, this has been a collective effort, a huge effort that many people have carried out. Everything turned out uh, beautifully. Of course, we cannot uh, control the fluctuations of cables, but we've almost... Um, uh, managed to control them. I would like to thank, first of all, the Board of Trustees and uh, all the, the sponsors of DIPC. You can uh, see a wonderful exhibition about the universe in Tabacalera. This is thanks to a collaboration, a partnership with the Cucha Foundation and Tabacalera. Um, it's been developed by Valentina Rodriguez and Silvia Bonelli. The Passion Chiqui session with the Cucha Espacio has been wonderful. Um, children have loved it. We've had so many things, so many events uh, uh, with students as well. Uh, we've collaborated with EDP and Telefonica. Yesterday we had very motivated people, um, young people that wanted to take pictures with Nobel laureates uh, because they, uh, they've understood that uh, Nobel laureates are people, individuals like them, and if they work hard, they can even get a no win a Nobel pr uh, Prize. Uh, that's something that the younger generations have understood by coming here. Our keynote lectures have been so interesting that this theatre has been uh, full with people every single day. I would like to thank Eluya uh, for their help, help with the press. We've had a lecture uh, on the origins of life in Miramon. We've had the Eus Campus activity that has carried out a training program with uh, graduates. Um, we've also enjoyed uh, informal sessions that are also very scientific. I'm talking, of course, about Naukas sessions developed by Iñaco Pérez, together with Javier Pérez, 
we've got many better right in uh, naukas we've had streamers uh, that Aitzolo garcia has brought here for us um i would like to thank our public sponsors the bus government the department of industry and of course the regional ministry for education and the uh, Provincial uh, Council of Gipuzkoa, they've all supported us. Thank you very much, of course. There are four people I would like to mention here, Marta, Valentina, Ichaso, and Amaya. You have been the soul of passion for knowledge. They were so, uh, they're smiling all the time. They never lose a uh, temper. And uh, they've been wonderful, so uh, thank you very much for your good mood, for your, your, your prof uh, professionalism. I would also like to thank Lancor, Morgan. I would love to thank our dear interpreters. Uh, I think they've worked very, very hard. They've even translated improvised uh, verses in Basque. I would like to thank the uh, Victoria Eugenia Theatre, the, Presenters, Javier Auspura, uh, Euskadi Prize. Uh, he looks like a cinema star, a film star. I like to uh, uh, also presenter. Thank you very much. And I would also like, of course, to mention the two general directors. That uh, have... Uh, ha organized this festival. I would like to first of all mention Amaya Revi. Amaya has had to stand huge pressure over this week and she's done it so beautifully. She's been able to coordinate all the teams, all the, all the people that have been working so hard here. And uh, she's done it beautifully. She's a he, uh, great uh, uh, professional of communication and a great scientist. Congratulations, Amaya. Thank you very much. And I would also like to mention Ricardo Diez Muño, director of DIPC. Uh, he's a person who truly believes he's not here to command uh, anyone. Uh, he's here to try and support people. He is working at the service of the teams and not the other way around. Um, it's not easy to work this way and he does it efficiently and kindly. I also want to mention the uh, Basque Department of uh, Education and uh, the Basque Minister for Education, Bilda Ratz. The DIPC would have never become what it is now without the constant support of the Basque Ministry for Education because you need two things to uh, develop an excellence center like DIPC. One is continuity in the policies, the long-term view. And secondly, we also need a kind relationship with the administration. Scientists need to be able to develop their activity without wasting time with red tape or... Uh, or, uh, you know, and that was only possible because the regional um, Ministry for Education with Amayas de Isabel Adolfo and the, all of them led by Joaquin Bildarratz really believed in it. They believed in us, they believed in the country, they believed in the future of knowledge. And last but not least, um, I'd like to mention someone else, Nora González. Uh, we started Passion for Knowledge with her in the first months, because this takes months and years, uh, you know, we work together, all, uh, both of us, uh, um, we designed our project, and uh, she unfortunately couldn't be here today uh, for personal reasons, but she's worked so hard. Uh, I've been thinking about her every single day of this festival, so thank you so much, Nora, from the bottom of my heart. And um, I would like to add one more thing, because I don't want her to tell me, you forgot about this. Well, I'm going to say it, Nora. I'm going to say it, Amaya. The, uh, the ones that deserve a warm round of applause are you, I mean, the audience. When we have uh, Nobel laureates coming here and they see that every single day this theater is uh, full of people. Every single day you stay here until very late in the evening. 
you're still there today, and that is admirable. Um, Nobel laureates uh, and we as organizers feel really honored. And on behalf of, of the wonderful team of uh, DAPC, and uh, on behalf of the latest Ministry for Education and from the first Minister for Education, I really thank you all from the bottom of my heart. But passion for knowledge will not be over until we take some pictures, right? First of all, I would invite the speakers to come here with the uh, leading committee of uh, the DIPC, and then I would like all the members of the teams to come here. To we know that uh, we are um, making history, and we believe in the future. Thank you very much indeed.